Well, never mind guys what I just said, look at his clown fiesta. Couple days ago we had yet another micro patch in this game and for some reason my mods didn't work. I have a couple really nice and harmless mods which I would like to use, like this site over here. I really like this uh, clean looking site with the 0 .00 second reload timer which helps me <clears throat> to make videos. Uh, what else? Oh, this is server site. I am using battle chat filter to block the battle chat spam. I am using free camera in replays to make those cool intros for you. I am using um, six sense icon. Yes, it is a bit bigger and more clear for my eyes. Now, this crew auto return is one of my favorite uh, mods, which makes my life so much easier. Without clicking any buttons, it automatically moves my crew members between premium tanks and standard tanks. I believe one battle with a standard vehicle I jump into the premium tank and it automatically brings the last used to crew members into that premium tank without clicking any buttons. Equipment auto return is for Pinos and Camonet. It automatically moves your Pinos and Camonet around. Uh, nothing from here, nothing from here, but then guys I saw his page. Tank skins. I, I do not remember exactly. I remember something from the older days, so I am not going to say that I am 100% right. I remember that the toes uh, clown looking clown skins, yes, this is how we called uh, them back in the days, were kinda on the borderline being illegal. Because it kinda gives you a straight advantage in the game. You can see where the enemy Amorak is, loader, commander, driver, uh, where you can put this vehicle on fire. You can see all the information which random, standard, non-clown skinned users can not see. And we do not have this system in the game either. So I was actually really interested uh, knowing if this is actually legal, but I downloaded this mod pack from the World of Tanks official mod portal. And every single mod pack, every single mod over there should be legal, should be checked. So I am kind of safe to use it, I guess. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to test it out. Let's play a couple battles with those clown ass looking skins. <laughs> what do you say about that? So let's uh, activate. Oh, yes, we have colored hit marks over here as well after you hit, after you penetrate. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Colored hit marks. Let's activate that. Uh, con decals, uh, mark of excellence, ribbons. No, I'm not interested about that. We have two options under here. What is the difference? Uh, this one, this mode allows you to use skins with zones of penetration only when aiming at tanks or pressing the hotkey ALT. Or this one is permanent. Uh, of course, let's make it permanent, why the hell not? And turn off camouflage and inscriptions. White HD tanks! White destroyed tanks. Just to make it a lot easier for your eyes, I guess. White destroyed tracks as well. Oh boy, okay. Well, here goes nothing. Let's install it and let's test it out. Whew, okay, so this is how it looks in the game. With uh, decals, you can actually block uh, some of it at least, but only 100, for example. Amorak is over here, here and here. Uh, I think this is a loader. This was loader, if I'm not mistaken. Commander, fire chance, um, fire chance, radio operator, driver, gunner. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it would be awesome if you could actually see it. it. We need this feature into this game, Wargaming, please. We really do need it. Uh, War Thunder has it. Uh, I think. Um, Armored Warfare, maybe they added something like this as well. Maybe not, I might be I might be wrong over here. But we need it in the garage. To see the 3D model, to see where the Amorak is, to learn those tanks, how they look. Um, like this, in my opinion, this is going to elevate the playstyle a lot. Uh, I, <laughs> I really do not want to freaking download this clown ass looking skin to do it. I want to see it in the game. So yes, Gamma actually makes it a lot harder to see, like Amorak over there, if you're using Camo. Mm, but then again, we had 
the, that mod which allow to re remove all the camo in the game. Oh god, okay, let's test it out as well. I think I remember correctly, but where was it? Tank skins, tank skins. Oh, over here. Uh, turn off camouflages and inscriptions. Let's see. Completely removes uh, camouflages and inscriptions from tanks. Does not have an effect on visibility bonus of tanks. Yes, of course. Because this is a mod. It doesn't uh, change the game code. So your camo... If you add uh, camouflage on a vehicle, it still gives you the effect. Because you cannot. Um, change the game code of course but you can remove it and the test directly is going to boost this clown skin okay let's test it out hmm interesting seems like that mode at least doesn't work and this is quite a nice camo to use on tvp to block that clown skin anyway let's play one battle and let's try to get as many critical hits uh, direct critical hits as possible and after that we can see how many direct critical hits we were actually able to get well never mind guys what i just said look at his clown fiesta it actually removed all our camos in the game so we can literally learn how those things work amorak over there driver um what is that gunner on amx 50b 110 over there object 257 by the way do we have those skins for wheel vehicles as well already. Doesn't seem like it, I do not see. Uh, but AMX 50B Amorak at the very back of the turret, as is Ancient Fire, of course. Uh, we have Gunner over there in the middle of the turret, in the middle of the side turret. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. And this is all the information I am able to see using this mod. We have Tiger 2. Well, I didn't aim at any weak spots at the moment, but... Okay, let's, let's move out. Where did you hit me, by the way? Mm, gas tank. Okay, so gas tank is also in the middle. Oh, yes, I have those colored hit markers as well, so it is a lot easier for my eyes to see. I spend a lot less time looking for the spots where enemy hit me. I can quite clearly see it right away. 430 this guy please do not block me and boom okay one ricochet I take that three penetrations so where is uh, 430's Amorak for example in the back of the turret loader is over there gunner <laughs> nice 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 to know Let's simply go. Well, AMX 50B got wrecked hardcore. I guess turret is full of hit markers. Front of the turret is full of hit markers. Enemy AMX 50B. Let's try to chase that guy down. Nice. I spotted something. Let's go back. Or let's go for the reload. Full clip reload. We do not have any artists, so... This is why I'm not scared of staying over here. I have some support as well. Uh, D34 is looking at me. We had SDRVS1 back there. We just pulled the trigger. Oh, dead white tanks. Yes, I forgot about that already. I do not want to risk with anything. Come on, 430. Nice. Picked up the kill. Yeah, let's not risk with anything. This guy killed my uh, killed my gunner, and my gunner is yeah somewhere over there. So almost a direct hit into my gunner. We're kind of trapped over here. We are kind of trapped. T34, 11 more seconds left on the reload. Then I can take you out, buddy. Don't worry. Yeah, please, please start looking somewhere else okay I have a bit faster reload speed but those guys they really they really got me uh, they might be rushing me down oh boy I was so lucky and t62 okay 
Well, quite a big defeat, so I guess this clown skin is not able to carry on its own. And Pimp Supreme says, Happy Eastern, you magnificent person. <laughs> what a kind dude. What a kind dude. Same to you, buddy. Awesome. Much love. Much love. Let's play one more battle. Oh boy, let the clown fiesta continue for one more battle. We have Brochetta over here as well, which is one of the newer vehicles and we already can see the driver position, Amorak, Connor, stuff like that. Okay, okay, let's let's play one more battle on Cliff. Um, TVP, I really like to play with uh, TVP because when I see something great, something which I can critically damage, I would like to do it many, many times in a row. And TVP lets me to do it many, many times in a row. Okay, one shot into you, and I think I actually have to back up now. I wasn't able to punish that STB back, I bounced off from the STB1. But luckily, we only have one tier 9 art in this matchmaking. Which is which? Which I can take. Let's say, let's put it like that. I can take it. Uh, that standard P is dead. This is what this guy is. Got me spotted. Sadly, I wanted to punish that S to be already. S to be is in really, really good position for me. Although, although they have some base snipers, base campers. Three shots and 250 dp as well, for a good measure. Uh, from this distance I cannot see too many weak spots. But at the moment I think, well most of the time you really shouldn't let uh, that skin to distract you. Most of the time you should um, focus on dealing damage, uh, focus on trying to penetrate hitting weak spots um, like this, hitting the Amorak or Driver or trying to put the engine on fire. It really helps to know how to do it, to know where to shoot, to, to get the maximum odds to do it. But, uh, yeah, okay, D10, D57 heavy. Oh, this guy was amorac and I have to run away, otherwise I might be amorect as well fairly soon. And uh, now I'm not in the RT shadow anymore. I know that much. They're not, and I might not even be in the uh, STRV's shadow or wherever the STRV is. This guy has actually not been spotted yet. Oh, I can see his amorek. Heat. T10 firing heat. Tutin. You can play this game. I'm actually going to load in heat for that hull down bastard. Yep, something is camping over there. I have been fortunate enough to not receive any artist shots. Nice. I wanted to knock down the tree. Okay, D10. Uh, what is that behind the rock? I, I believe SDRV is uh, sniping at me. I believe this guy's SDRV, so after that next heat clip I am actually going back to the regular rounds. And boom. Nice! Perfection! Perfection! Sorry, 50 dp. Some heat rounds are coming in your way. Yeah, SDRV is up over there. I could even blind fire that guy. No, 50 dp is dropping down, so I can actually start loading in regular rounds already i don't want to waste too, ma too many credits because soon guys there is going to be one massive massive credit spending spree we completely control this map we control the middle mouse okay let's see oh, never mind no hits on mouse srv up here yeah there are some vehicles when you really do not need to know much about their playstyle to know their positioning, stuff like that. Okay. Conqueror. Oh, Amorak. Let's try it. Okay, now let's try to hit the Amorak. And 
let's make it count. Oh, that was a direct hit into the Amorak. So guys, please keep in mind, I was aiming at the uh, Conqueror's Amorak. I got one critical hit. And after this battle, let me check which critical hit was able to get. Uh, one more tank is still alive and his is type 5 heavy. So, really awesome. I'm actually, I'm actually happy about that game. 15 damaging hits, Conqueror, one critical hit, and Drac. Okay, so it wasn't um, knocked out. Yeah, it wasn't the Amorak hit. I thought the Amorak hit. Well, never mind. Anyway, let me know. Ooh, slightly, just slightly higher damage than on 277. Nice damage by mouse. How much did you block? Not much. Oof, I smell Bremen Browns. Uh, but um, let me know. What do you think about that? Oh, this guy maybe was in my battle. Yeah, say hello to YouTube. Um, like that. But uh, ladies and gents, please let me know what is your take on this uh, skin, this camo, this... Um, I don't know, I don't even know how to call it. And a quick disclaimer, I do not have anything to do with uh, this skin, this camo. I am simply testing it out, I didn't make it, so I have no idea if everything shown over here is correct, if the Connor is actually over here, if the Amorak is actually over there. I have no way to prove it. We actually do not have any ways to prove it, unless I have to dive into the game files, I have to, like, the grip the game files because we do not have this system in the game and my take on it is we need something like in War Thunder. I want to click one button which makes my hull invisible or I can see uh, see through my hull armor and I can see where the engine is, I can see where the Amorak is, I want uh, interactive Amorak as well. The more shells I carry, the bigger my Amorak inside the tank is. I want to see stuff like that. Please make it happen. Uh, so yeah, let me know what is your take on it in the comments down below. Because at the moment we do not have anything like that. But people who use it are able to get a little advantage. It is not game breaking, don't get me wrong. It is not going to make you a better player. It is not going to make you win like 10 more battles. Um, 10 more battles in 100 battles. It, it is not going to make you win more if you do not know how to play this game, if you do not know how to position, how to play your vehicle. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. But in one versus one situations, trying to get those critical shots, especially with 183 type of guns, then it might help you out. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, this was my today's episode. <laughs> I hope, I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you do, thumbs up button is for that. If you don't, thumbs down button is for that. I get you next time with something else. Take care and bye.